today is the day. I don't remember that being as heavy as that. Jesus Christ. I ain't got a clue. <laughs> how much deep? Yeah. What are you on about? How much deep? How much is it deep? Well, how much is it deep? How, how much? That's not even English. How much is it deep? Well, how deep is it? If it's 23 wide, <laughs> yeah. I'm so hung over. I know, I know. I'm not doing this now. It's just too hung over to do this. I'm just buying this. Yeah. The first job I'm going to do today, I'm going to clean this deck in, ready for tomorrow when I can stain it. This has been out in the weather, being weathered for the past, well since I put it up, so probably just over two months maybe. So this is ready now to be stained, then tomorrow I can then do the rest of the decking and hopefully this top decking will be done, hopefully. I've already cleaned it once just to see what it was like, so there's only about half a tub left. I'm using Furniture Clinique, this stuff, and what it says to do, um, wet the decking first uh, with the watering can, scrub with a stiff, stiff bristle. Well, I haven't got a stiff bristle, is that going to work? But what I have got is a jet wash. A pro um, and the reason why I'm using this and not the jet wash on its own is because some of the jet washes, I don't think this is too powerful, but I don't want to take the chance. A stronger jet wash would damage the decking. If you can imagine the, the dirt on the decking, if you go over it with a high power jet wash, you're going to leave like a line in the wood where this spreads it evenly. It's not so centralized in one spot from what I've been seeing online. Thank God for YouTube. Um, this is the best thing to do it. So that's what I'm going to do today. And hopefully if I've got enough time, which hopefully I will do, I'm then going to start spraying this fence. And I think once the fence is done, it will have an all new sort of look to it. I tried painting it ages ago. 
and it just took so long so so long so I've got a, a spray an actual paint spray now so hopefully it shouldn't take too long at all and it should spread it a lot more evenly than trying to do it with a paintbrush but anyway got to crack on because the day's going so now this is done according to the wood cleaner let the cleaner take effect and then what we're going to do we'll use a jet wash to clean it and then we will leave it until tomorrow it's the first two days i've had in about two months where it's not rained and i can get on with the garden determined to get some sort of progress So this is all clean now, but what I said to you before about using the jet wash, you can use the jet wash, but not too close, not too close to the actual decking itself. Let me show you. If you imagine, this is your decking, okay? When I said too close, what I meant was... Now, can you see that little line on there? So if you put that on your decking, that's gonna stain your decking. It's gonna be really hard to get rid of that. What you can do is use it a bit of a distance. If it's just like some mud on there you wanna get rid of, I think it's perfectly acceptable if you use like that. Just not like that. Oh. Rough. Good morning, guys. It's now Sunday. Uh, I am proper hungover. I went, went out last night, wasn't planning to. Went to see the boys. Yeah, they get in until two o'clock. Gone two o'clock this morning. So I'm a little bit sore, head's hurting. Um, so what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna stain this. I'm staining this today, I'm putting it on the hot tub and I'm sitting in it, that's what I'm doing. All right, so this is the colour I'm using. It's uh, by Os Osmo. Osmo. So hopefully this should make it look pretty cool. and get this sorted now. Now the paint I'm using is HQC Smartweight, this one. And it's a grey colour and it's apparently it's going to go on really, really easily. So we shall see. I'm not sure. I'll probably have to get a paintbrush to do close to the wall and the decking and that type of thing. But we'll give it a go and see how it goes. That could have gone terribly wrong. We're gonna get this set up now and we're gonna see if this works. No, stay. You're not coming out. No. As you can see, uh, it's gonna take longer than I anticipated. So the battery's about to run out. So I'm gonna charge my battery up and uh, I'll see you in about 24 hours. <laughs> that took me 45 minutes. I did what most men do. I didn't read the instructions. I looked at the uh, a video online that told me how to actually use the Wagner, Wagner, whatever it's called, spray gun. And yeah, I didn't dilute the paint. So clearly that took me almost over an hour when it's saying in the paperwork or on the video that I should be able to do that, the whole panel within two minutes. I'm going to try watering the paint down by 10% and there's a little thing that comes with it which I'll show you that tells you how you can judge what 10% is. You get one of these, each little marker on it is 10%. Taking your drum, you put the paint and the water in, this goes on the side, little notch there, clips on there, that fits at the bottom, it's not going to move. As you can see, that's just at the first notch, so that's 10% according to Wagner. See that's what it says it needs to be so it's like rolling off whatever you're stirring it with and that's a lot looser so hopefully this should spread a lot better than it did before lesson learned always read the instructions
that's took me, I obviously did it in a time lapse, but that literally has took me uh, 10 minutes, if that, just to do all of that. Obviously I need another coat on there, that's not how it's going to stay, I just wanted to get the first coat on. Because if you put too much on, because it's watered down, it's going to run down the fence and I don't want that effect. So I put a coat on and then the next coat I put on will literally just make it a, a really nice, uh, it's supposed to be like a, a dark grey but it looks actually blue. <laughs> But I think it'll look good with the decking, um, I really do. Saying, um, as you can see it takes a bit of time but it's definitely worth it putting the effort in and just taking your time and getting these bores as straight as possible that's why it's taking me a little bit longer than normal I think when I do the bottom deck in I'm gonna drill straight through I'm not gonna try and put the hidden screws in this because it's taking too long but it's a lesson learned and as you can see I was using the dividers because as I've gone along the gaps vary between the boards and the base maybe that's my fault maybe I don't know I've looked into it and I think I've found a solution for the bottom. What I was doing was making it flush with the base that it's attaching to. Now, I've looked at other videos online on YouTube, thank God for YouTube, and what they're saying to do is make it flush at the bottom. So you bring the noggin up so it's flush with the bottom of the board, and then whatever's overhanging at the top, you plane off. So at the very end, it's literally going to be completely flat and you're not going to have no bits sticking up so I might try that when I do the bottom decking but as you can see it takes a bit of time and it makes the spacing perfect and some of the boards you're going to get they're going to be slightly warped it's just a fact of life they've been sat here a while because of the weather yes I did it at the wrong time I did it just coming up to winter but I managed to get it done so I think if I when I do this again well I'm going to do it down there I'm going to do it in the summertime it'll be a lot more fun and it won't be so stressful and I can get it done in a lot faster way than what I've done this one. But I'm happy with this. But now I need to crack on because I'm planning to get this, all these boards down today. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. It's been a long time coming me trying to get this uh, completed, but it's finally done. Um, and I'm over the moon with it. I can't believe I've managed to achieve this. 
there's still a lot more to do, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, maybe subscribe, uh, leave me a like, or even leave me a comment. I read them all. But anyway, I'm going to get ready for work now. So take care, and I shall see you guys soon. Take care. Bye bye.